So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. For the second step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in date and time settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure that your time zone is correct. Make sure that you have set time automatically turned on. Now you're gonna scroll down and then click on sync now. Make sure that your date and time is fully synced up. And now for the next step, you're gonna scroll down a bit more and then click on language and region. Make sure that your country or region is correct and make sure the original format is also correct. For the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in wsreset.exe. Click on it. It's now gonna reset the Microsoft Store. For the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in Microsoft Store. Now you're gonna click on App Settings. And then once this comes up, you're gonna scroll down and then click on Terminate. Scroll down a bit more and then click on Reset. And then click on Reset again. Wait for this to load. You want to reset the Microsoft Store. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to Search again and type in Xbox. Now you're gonna click on App Settings. Now once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down again and then click on Terminate and then click on Reset. And then click on Reset again. Wait for this to load. You now want to reset the Xbox application. And now for the last step, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. Also, make sure that your payment method is valid and up to date. 